Boris Johnson admits he's accepted full responsibility for the findings of Sue Gray's Partygate report, but insists he'll stay on as Prime Minister. Parties going well past midnight, excessive alcohol and a lack of respect for cleaning staff working at Downing Street were some of the revelations out of the report. A toast that was to take months of his premiership, a prime minister found to have broken the law and perhaps the trust of his party and public too. An excoriating report full of damning detail, grim reading then for this PM. At the heart of his government, it said there were failures of leadership and judgment, an inappropriate and excessive consumption of alcohol, a lack of respect for cleaning and security staff, and private messages between staff joking they'd got away with it. Out of the bunker to face the noise, heading to Parliament to make yet another apology. I want to begin today by renewing my apology to the House, uh, to the whole country, and I also want to say, Mr Speaker, above all, that I take full responsibility for everything that took place on my watch. But this a qualified apology, a PM still on the defence, insistent the events he attended were for the purposes of work. I'm happy to set on the record now that when I said I came to this House and said in all sincerity that the rules and guidance would be followed uh, at all times, it was what I believed to be true. But the Labour leader, himself the subject of a police investigation, clear-eyed. That report lays bare the rot that under this Prime Minister has spread in number 10, yep, yep. and it provides definitive proof of how those within the building treated the sacrifices of the British people with utter contempt. Yeah. Even those MPs on his own benches, which at times weren't particularly full, not convinced. I made my point and my position very clear to the Prime Minister. He does not have my support. But a question I humbly put to my colleagues is are you willing, day in and day out, to defend this behaviour publicly? Can we continue to govern without distraction, given the erosion of the trust with the British people? And can we win the general election on this current trajectory? Not what he wanted to hear, but bullish still. And after attempts to convince parliamentarians, next for the press and the public, and it didn't get much easier. Vomit, drunken altercations, security staff being treated with contempt, cleaners having to mop up red wine. Sue Gray is a shaming dossier, really, isn't it, of what's meant to be the place, the heart of government, that sets the standards of our country. And it's your culture under your leadership. Did you never think about resigning? A poll out today, just out, says three in five Britons think you should. Beth, I, of course I understand uh, why people are um, uh, indignant and, and, uh, I, uh, and why people have been angry at what, to, uh, what took place. I hear you, I, I understand you, uh, but I, I, I really feel it's my job to, to, to get on. Was there any point you thought about it, though, because during any of it, did you ever think this... Why is only you were allowed to come back, Beth? It shows no, you have some special did. position. Other, other OK, people. forgive me. Forgot it. And, now, and no matter how... Uh, bitter and painful the conclusions of this may be, and they are, uh, and no matter how humbling they are, I've, I, 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 I've got to uh, keep moving forward, and the government's got to keep moving, and we, we are. But moving forward will depend on the support of his MPs, and another one today called on the Prime Minister to resign, taking the total to 16. And this one doesn't sound far off either. Is he still the vote winner you need for the Conservative Party. Well, I am struck today by a number of colleagues who are really concerned that it's almost impossible for the Prime Minister to say at one stage, I, uh, I want to move on and the public wants to move on and yet we haven't regained the public trust. I'm not sure we can. Uh, and I think there are a lot of colleagues who today are perhaps realising that unless something happens, we may not be able to win the next general election. Do you think he should resign? I think, the Prime Minister, I think the Prime Minister doesn't enjoy the trust of a lot of the British people, and I think he's got to reflect on that very carefully. Tonight, the PM on his way back to Downing Street, having addressed a group of his backbenchers, he wants to move on. The jury out on whether, in the end, they'll let him. Beth Rigby, Sky News, Westminster.